This is Kevin. After he had heard the gospel, he suddenly brought up the issue of slavery, and I said something to him that left him kind of shocked. The things that have been taught to me in a book have been used against me also. So just following this, the same thing that enslaved my people is crazy. Like, what are you talking about? And then I gave him both barrels for about three minutes. And all the while, I was thinking, how is he taking this? Is this making him angry? And what he said shocked me. Make sure you watch until the end. Would it please you to know for sure there's an afterlife and you can be free from death? The reason I ask that is because the Bible says that death is an enemy. Mm -hmm. Well, you can overcome an enemy. You can battle an enemy. At the moment, you can't fight death because you've got no answer to it. Right. The Bible tells us what death is. It's an enemy tells us what causes death, tells us what you can do about it, and gives us assurance you can have everlasting life. Are you lost? Mentally, yes. Most young people don't know where they came from. They've been told stupid stuff at school. They don't know what they're doing here, and they don't know where they're going after they die. Where are you going after you die? I believe in reincarnation, so I believe that, you know, I'm going to end up in this world again. Do you believe the Bible? Oh, yes, I do. You know what it says? There's no reincarnation. Did you know that? Correct. I do know. Mm -hmm. Do you think you're a good person? I would say I'm a good person. How many lies have you told in your life? Who knows? God knows. Yeah, I know he God knows. knows. He knows everyone. And the Bible says lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. It also says all liars will appear part in the lake of fire. Have you lied and stolen? I have. I have yeah. when I was a child. So You started young, yeah. didn't you? <laughs> have you ever used God's name in vain? Yes, I have. I have. And of you? Yes. Yes, I have. Do you love your mum? I do love her. Would you ever use her name as a cuss word instead of the S word to express disgust? Or would you use your mother's name? No. I Why not? I respect her. You don't respect the God that gave you a mother. You've taken his holy name. The godly Jews won't even write down because it's so holy and used it in place of a cuss word. You know what that's called? Sinning. Blasphemy. Mm. Very serious. Still think you're a good person? I don't. We're looking at the Ten Commandments to see how you're going to do on Judgment Day. <laughs> Ready for this next one? This is a canon. Yeah. Jesus said, whoever looks upon a woman to lust for her has committed adultery already with her in his heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? I would say I have. You're not sure? Uh, when did you last look at pornography? About a year or two. That's looking with lust. That's breaking that commandment. Okay. Have you had sex before marriage? Yes. Here's a quick summation for you, Kevin. You've told me that you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, fornicating, adulterer at heart, mm -hmm. and you're self-righteous and saying you're a good person when you're not. You're like the rest of us. Right. You're a sinner at heart. So if God judges you by the Ten Commandments on Judgment Day, you're going to be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Heaven or hell? Hell. And what about you? Innocent or guilty? Guilty. And you'd end up in hell. That horrifies me. I've just met you guys, and I love you. I don't want you to go to hell. Ever heard the Bible verse, the wages of sin is death? No, I haven't. It's saying that God is paying you in death for your sins. Like a judge who looks at a criminal who's, like a judge who looks at a criminal that's committed murder, and he keeps saying, I'm a good person, judge. The judge says, I'm gonna show you how serious your crime is. I'm giving you the death sentence. This is your wages. This is what you've earned. And guys, sin is so serious to a holy God, he's given you the death sentence. You're on death row. And your death will be evidence to you that God is deadly serious about sin. And you've earned your wages. Man, I don't want you to go to hell. I love you. I, that horrifies me. The thought yeah, you... I don't want to go to hell either. What did God do for guilty sinners so we wouldn't have to go to hell? Do you know? He died for us. He died on the cross. Now, almost everybody knows that, but they don't know this. And guys, if you can get a grip of this, it's going to change everything for you. The Ten Commandments are called the moral law. You and I broke the law. Jesus paid the fine. That's why he said, it is finished. Just before he died, he was saying, paid in full. If you're in court and you've got speeding fines, the judge will let you go if someone pays those fines. They say, you're guilty, but you can leave because someone's paid your fine. And it's legal. Yeah, God can legally dismiss your death sentence. He can take it off you and let you live forever, all because of what Jesus did on the cross and paying our fine and then rising from the dead three days later. And all you have to do to find everlasting life is repent of your sins, you know what that means, turn from sin, and then trust in Jesus like you trust a parish. And one last question, if you're going to jump out of a plane 10,000 feet, why would you put on a parachute? To give myself a second chance. You don't want to die. Your motivation is fear, and that fear is your friend, it's not your enemy. 
because it's making you put on a parachute. And guys, because I love you, I've tried to put the fear of God on you today. I've tried to make you scared, hoping you'll see that fear as your friend, not your enemy, because it'll make you serious with God, and it'll bring you to the foot of the cross where you'll find everlasting life. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Make sense to you? Yes, it does. Yes. So when are you going to repent and put your faith in Jesus instead of in yourself? I think I have already repented, you know. Yeah, not talking about that. When are you going to repent and trust in Jesus rather than trust in you being a good person? That's what I'm trying to say. We all feel repentant, we all feel sorry, but we must come to that point where we put our trust in Jesus and not in our own goodness. Because you're not a good person, it's not going to work on Judgment Day. If you think you're going to be saved by trusting in your goodness, you're like a man who jumps out of a plane, flapping his arms, trying to save himself. It's not going to work. He should just trust the parachute. So don't trust your goodness. Trust in Jesus with all your heart. Does that make sense? It makes sense. So when are you going to do that? I'm going to go ahead and do that and start today. And what about you? Same. I'm with her. Wherever you... she goes, I'm with her. <laughs> but do you realize what you're doing? You're giving up the battle. You're saying, God, I give up my will. I've done things that are morally wrong. I need your forgiveness. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yes, I am. Are you sorry for your sins? I'm sorry for my sins. Are you? I am very sorry for my sins. Okay. Can I pray with you guys? Yes, sir. Okay, let's bear in prayer. Father, I pray for this couple. Thank you for their openness of heart. Pray this day as they think about their own sinfulness, that they'll be genuinely sorry for their sins and find a place of true repentance and be born again with a new heart and new desires, with the knowledge that pass from death to life, all because of your great kindness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Do you have a Bible at home? Yes, I do. Okay, I'm going to give you a Gospel of John each, and a book I wrote called Volatile, which shows you that the Bible spoke of the countries that would attack Israel in the last days, written 2,500 years ago, naming the countries, showing to you that the Bible is God's Word. Because only God knows the future, and he gave us the future 2,500 years ago. And also, I'll give you a little booklet called Save Yourself Some Pain and two $5 In-N-Out cards for dinner tonight. Is that okay? Yes. I thought that would make you smile. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let course. me grab them for you. All right. And you've got God's promise, and he cannot lie because he's without sin. He'll grant you everlasting life as a free gift, not because you're good, but because he's good and kind mm -hmm. and rich in mercy. Is this making sense? It does make sense, yeah. You're going to think about what we talked about? I'll think about it, yeah. So when are you going to repent and put your faith in Jesus instead of in your own goodness? The way that I've experienced life. The things that have been taught to me in a book have been used against me also. So just following in this, the same thing that enslaved my people is crazy. Like, what are you talking about? Don't go to history. Just say, I'm a sinner. I need God's mercy. Kevin, this is what's happening. You and I are on a plane 10,000 feet up. We both have to jump any second. I've got my parachute on, and I say, Kevin, when are you going to put your parachute on? You say, well, there's people that have done wrong in the past. Man, the best thing I can do for you is hang you up the plane no. for two seconds by your ankles. And I've tried to hang you out eternity by your ankles, hoping you'll see how serious this is. Kevin, this is your life we're talking about. I don't want you to go to hell, and there's a battle going on for your soul at the moment. Satan doesn't want to let you go. Just get before you the Do you know that there's an everlasting life? Have you seen Of course, it? I've obeyed the gospel. God You've will... obeyed the gospel, yes, and, and, that, God... and that helps you to see it, to come back and tell me that it exists? This is how you know that what I'm saying is true. Oh. God will make you a brand new person on the inside, so you'll love righteousness. Instead of loving sin, you'll love righteousness. God says he'll give you a new heart with new desires. You'll be born again, come out of darkness into light. And the first time you were born, it was radical. You didn't exist, then you did. When you're born again, when you come to Christ, it's just as radical, and that'll be your own personal miracle. You'll know what God says is true because he's transformed you on the inside and made you a brand new person. Kevin, all I can do is plead with this. Please think about this. This is your eternity. It's not just who you're going to marry or what you're going to do for a job. It's where you're going to spend forever. So you're at a crossroads at the moment. Sin or righteousness? Obedience or rebellion? And the Bible says rebellion is the sin of witchcraft. So if you say, God, I'm not going to obey the gospel. I refuse to repent. You're going to, you're going to reap death and hell. And I don't want that to happen to you. So please, when I leave here, just think about it with a serious heart. Think about your secret sins and that God has seen them. Think how he made provision for you to be forgiven and cleansed because of what Jesus did on the cross. And just say, God, please confirm to me what that guy is saying is true. Would you somehow confirm it to me? And he's faithfully promised. I've asked that question for a long time. You have? 
Yeah, I have. So you're going to think about what we talked about today? I definitely will. I always think about it. And I do appreciate this conversation. I appreciate what you said to me. Living Waters exists as a non-profit ministry to help you grow in your faith. Here are three things to help you do just that. The Living Waters Podcast. The Evidence Study Bible. Everything you've ever wanted to know about the Christian faith. And the Starter Kit four of our most popular gospel tracks. These and much more are available at livingwaters.com. This is one of the most moving encounters I've ever had. A college professor wanted to be saved. Get your Kleenex out. You're going to love this. You can watch it right now by clicking to your left.